Hi! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the Stereo Panoramic Player plugin for Unreal Engine 4. The plugin is available in the UE4 Marketplace and is a complete solution to quickly integrate an interactive customizable player for 360 degrees panoramic images and videos, supporting both mono and stereo media sources. For this tutorial, we will create a new Blueprint project based on the classic first-person template. Ensure that the Stereo Panoramic Player plugin is enabled. Check in, in the Edit Plugins menu and searching for it. As first step, we will import two panoramic images. For this example, we will use two mono images with aspect ratio of 2 by 1. For each panoramic image, we must now create a corresponding panoramic stage data asset. A panoramic stage allows us to define all the characteristics of a panoramic media, which image or video to show, if it's mono or stereo, etc. In addition, it allows the definition of navigation links, which are interactive areas or hotspots that can be used to navigate between panoramic stages. This is used, for example, to quickly assemble a complete virtual tour. To create a panoramic stage data asset, in the content browser, select Add New, Miscellaneous, and then Data Asset. In the window that opens, search for Panoramic Stage. Select it and press the Select button. We name it after the corresponding image. Now open the newly created Panoramic Stage asset as we have to fill some information. We can give a human readable name to the stage. Then we must set the media type. As we want to show a panoramic image, we select the image value. You can select the value movie if you want to render a panoramic movie for the stage. In the media layout option, we must specify if the media is using a mono or stereo format. For this image, we'll select the mono format. Now we can select which panoramic texture to render so pick one of the previously imported textures. We'll see how to configure some of the other properties later. The panoramic director, the actor that we will use to drive the virtual tour, must be configured with a panoramic experience data asset. It's a simple asset containing general information about the virtual tour. To create a panoramic experience data asset, in the content browser select Add New, Miscellaneous, and then Data Asset. In the window that opens, search for Panoramic Experience. Select it and press the Select button. Name it, for example, Pano Exp. Open the Panoramic Experience. We must now specify which panoramic stage to use as initial stage of our virtual tour. As a last step, we must define the panoramic director actor that will drive the panoramic experience. In the Modes tab, select All Classes, then search for Panoramic Director. Drag and drop an instance in Scene. Select it and, in its Details panel, set an experience property to the panoramic experience asset that we created before. We can now test our panoramic experience. Press play to see it working in editor. Very well. Now let's see how to navigate between different stages. Create now a second panoramic stage for the second imported image. Configure it as done before. Set the name, the media type, the media layout, and the panoramic texture. Now we want to define a navigation hotspot to move from the first stage to the second one. To make it, we must open the source stage. Under the navigation section, we can define the navigation links. Create a new item, 
and set the UMG widget to use. The plugin provides some ready-to-use widgets, so we select one of those. Note that here you can use any custom UMG widget you want, with your custom graphics and animations. Now we must select where, in the panoramic image, the widget must be positioned. You have several options here. Select your own pitch rotation and in the value field leave 0 and 0. This will cause the widget to appear in front of the user. As final option, we have to select the stage where the user will navigate to when this hotspot will be activated. Select our second stage. We can now test it in Editor. We can now configure an hotspot to quit the panoramic experience simply leaving the destination stage field empty. Let's do it in the second stage. We define a new navigation item, select the widget, position it at the left of the user, and ensure to leave the destination stage property to none. Play. As you can see, the panoramic director starts the panoramic experience as soon as you press play. But you can also control it using blueprints. For example, we can start the panoramic experience only when the player enters in a specific area. It's very simple. Add to the scene a trigger volume. While keeping the trigger volume selected, open the level blueprint. Add the event on actor begin of a lap. In the word outliner, select the panoramic director. And in the level blueprint, right click and search for the play method. Select the one under Stereo Panoramic Player. Connect the execution link and under Experience, select our Panoramic Experience data asset. Before testing it, to prevent the Panoramic Director to start immediately, we simply reset its experience property to none. Now we can test it. Move into the trigger volume and... Great! The panoramic director has a lot of options. You can configure it to play panoramic movies. Customize how the user can interact with it. And customize also some graphics effects. For example, we can nicely blend between the 3D environment and the panoramic media using the cutoff effect. You can find all the details in the documentation. But just to show you how simple it is, create a new curve asset and set the fading factor from 0 at time 0 to 1 fully opaque at time 1. Set this curve in the cutoff alpha curve property. Set the cutoff duration to 3 seconds. And enable the effect when entering and exiting the experience. Play and. 
there is now a nice real-time fading between your 3D scenes and the panoramic experience. It's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and remember that you will find more information about the Stereo Panoramic Player plugin directly in the Unreal Engine 4 Marketplace. Link in the description. Bye!